So here we have a Whirlpool Duet front loader and I did a load of laundry and halfway through the cycle it stopped and went and drained. So I say, well, let's pull it apart and see what we can figure out. I don't know anything about washing machines, but here's there's a a tray that goes down in here. It's sitting right over there. Just there's three screws on the bottom down here. Then the tray comes off. Kind of helps if you have someone tip it back so you can get them because they're hard to get down there. Then you twist this all the way out, drains all the stuff out. Well, there's a a catch tray in there. I had quarters, nickels, dimes. That all sorts of junk from kids not emptying out their pockets and so on. So anyhow, I'm hoping that's the problem. Um, you can see there's a a tab right here, and there's another tab there. They were touching when I before I open it up, so you need to make sure you have it all the way back to an O-ring seal there. I reached in and cleaned. There's a pipe back in there too. I reached back in there to make sure there was nothing else back in the pipe. There's a little ball. I pulled that out, but. Uh, like a little bead, that's what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm sure that was the deal. It was making it, it, it turn on. Um, you press for it to work, and, and uh, it go just a humming noise, like a motor running. But it wasn't sucking the water out, and, and, it, and it wasn't turning over. So I took the back panel off. There's a bunch of screws that hold the whole thing on, and this drain hose you can goes down along through here and, and attaches to that pump that's back there so we're assuming that's the main deal like I said it was very plugged with stuff so hopefully if you guys have problems where it's not draining out you might want to check there's a trap on this whirlpool front loader and it's on the front of the machine again go back to the front it's, down here on the bottom, like I said, there's a tray you got to pull off, and there's this big opening. And here's the motor. They've also said the motor goes out, but I'm I can hear the motor running, and I turn the fan in there by hand. I can feel the blades; they're not broken. Um, I'm pretty sure it was just clogged with junk in there. So, hope that helps you guys out.